Let's see how to do data aggregations using the SQL DF package in R. One thing that happens a lot when you're working with data is that you receive dates and they can come in any format and you might want to do data aggregations or computations, um, for example, grouping or summing all the sales that happen in the same year or in the same week or in the same weekday or whatever you want. So. I will show you a very, very easy and simple way using this fabulous SQL DF package. So in order to begin with, get into this website and download uh, this dates.csv package, uh, CSV file. I will be placing it um, here. You can place it wherever you want. If you execute this, you will see that uh, I have two dates and one numeric um, column. Naturally, these are not being read properly as dates. Uh, these are being treated as factors. You can check a previous video here in the description where I explain how to do this uh, properly, how to use the as the date function to transform this into dates. But anyway, after you you run that part that transforms the factor into a proper date, you will get something like this, where you have obviously the two dates that we initially read, the numeric variable that we are interested in grouping by year or by month or by day or by weekday. We'll see that in a minute. And then the two numeric uh, columns that you can see here are truly treated as numeric. So, one thing that I will be doing because I will be later working through or be a SQL um, and I will need the year and the weekdays is to compute them here. So you can see that after I execute this, I have um, a year and a weekday here. You can see them here. And I will be um, interested in building um, aggregations here. So for example, I will want to get or sum uh, all the sales here that happened in 2008, all that happened in 2007, all that happened in 2017 together. So the easiest way of doing that um, is to use this fabulous SQL DF uh, package. So uh, the way to, to use it is by calling this SQL DF function and then select, I will select the year, the sum of the amount as sum, the average of the amount as mean, uh, from the data frame, this is very important, SQL DF allows us, us to work directly over date frames. Notice that this isn't a SQL or a proper SQL database, this is just uh, SQL code running in data frames. And then I'm grouping by year. So let's see what happens when I execute this query you can see that I have for every year, 2007, 2008, 2014, 2017, I have the, um, the sum and then the mean. An important thing here is that I am working, if you recall, we have two columns or two date columns. I'm just working with this one, the um, underscore window underscore M. So I have the sum and the mean, and this is like something very, very hard to do if you are not using the SQL DF package. This is kind of a mess. And you can see that I did that in just one um, line. And then I will be doing something very, very similar. I will be executing the same query, but the difference is that instead of the year, I will be using the weekday as the grouping variable. So if I run that, you will see that uh, this has a problem. You may say, well, what's the problem? Well, obviously, I am grouping here by weekday and I am selecting the year. That doesn't make sense. So always make sure that this is consistent. And uh, now you will be able to see how this looks like. Now this is what I was looking for. You can see that I have the weekday uh, properly uh, written. I have Friday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I have the sum and the mean for every um, for every day of the week. So we have everything that we needed.